Hey guys, so today we're going to be making some baked mac and cheese. Yes, I love me some good old southern baked mac and cheese. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started. First, we're going to boil our elbow macaroni noodles. Make sure you salt your water. And so we're going to boil these noodles for about six or seven minutes. We don't want to cook them too long because we are going to bake the macaroni. So we don't want the noodles overcooked. And so I am shredding some sharp cheddar cheese and some mild cheddar cheese. And so I did use, I think, two of these uh, small blocks of mild cheddar and then one uh, sharp cheddar. I'll put the ingredients in the description box below. And so I just shredded those. And then I am gonna cube about maybe half of this sharp cheddar block. And so this is a total of about three of these small blocks of cheese with the shredded cheese and the block cheese that was totaled about three blocks of cheese. Next, we're gonna add a half of stick of butter um, into our macaroni and then just stir that up. And then you're gonna season your noodles to your taste. Um, I know that cheese does have salt in it. So if you wanna be easy on the salt, don't put any salt in there, but I'm just seasoning it with some pepper. I am kind of heavy handed with the pepper cause I just like to look at the pepper in the macaroni and know that it's in there. And then I'm going to use some nature's uh, seasoning, which is an all purpose seasoning. It has like salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder and all that good stuff in there. So I'm just putting some of that in there as well. Because what? We don't want no bland food. Y'all, I promise you, you don't want your food to be bland. And so just stir all of that together. Now I'm adding one can of Campbell's cheddar cheese soup. And so this adds an extra layer of creaminess to your macaroni. This is totally optional, but I highly recommend trying this out in your macaroni and see if there's a difference. Next, I'm just gonna start adding in my milk uh, to make all of this come together. You can use whole milk, heavy cream. Um, right now, I'm using the evaporated milk in, in here. And so, um, I'm just eyeballing how much milk I wanna put in there. Um, I do like my macaroni on the creamier side, but if you like, you know, some people prefer like a little drier macaroni, um, so you can cut it into a nice little square when it's done. Um, just add less milk, but I did add a little more milk than most people probably would because I didn't want the drier version of that, of that today. I wanted mad creamy today, y'all. And so I'm just adding in a teaspoon of sugar. And I know you're probably thinking, girl, why are you putting this sugar in this mac and cheese? What is wrong with you? You put sugar in everything. You're not gonna taste the sugar. It just adds, you know, it kind of balances things out. It maybe add a little hint of sweetness, um, but it, it really does balance out with the sharp cheddar cheese. I promise you it's not gonna be sweet, y'all. Again, I'm just adding milk as I go and see how I want the texture to be. Um, you know, I rather add a little more milk so that it doesn't dry out too much in the oven. Um, but of course, as macaroni sits after you bake it, it does kind of firm up anyway. And so now I'm just adding one egg. You can add two. Like I said, I wanted mine on the creamier side. The egg helps to bind 
the macaroni so you can get that nice little cute little cut after it's done but I wanted mine a little loose um, but I do like the other version as well so you can add two eggs if you want a firmer macaroni um, totally your choice or you don't even have to add eggs if you don't want to and now I'm just putting some shredded cheese on top and I really like this four state cheddar uh, by Sargento y'all probably like girl why you go through <laughs> this process of shredding your own cheese and then you're gonna put this bag shredded cheese on top because I like the taste that's why <laughs> but just put you some shredded cheese on top and then I'm going to sprinkle uh, some paprika on there for color and I'm also going to put some parsley on there just for a little pop of green and then I'm going to put it in the oven on 350 degrees and let it bake for about 30 to 35 minutes um, and make sure you check it to see if it's brown, brown enough or done enough to your taste. So this is the macaroni fresh out the oven. I did let it sit for about 10 minutes just so that it will firm up a little bit. And so this is me getting out my little square of macaroni because that's just what you do. You cut your macaroni into a square when it's baked. And so it's nice and creamy. It's still a little bit firm, but it's also creamy. And so this is what I was talking about. If you want a firmer macaroni, just add another egg or less milk and it will come out just as fine. Um, and this is the finished product y'all and so I hope you guys enjoy this recipe Please make sure you like share and subscribe This will go well with some of those greens. I made the other day some fried chicken some fried fish um, Some fried pork chops um, I hope you guys enjoy bye